If I attain Buddhahood, heavenly beings and humans in my land, should I not dwell in the state of non-regression and definitely realize Nirvana? May I not attain perfect enlightenment? If I attain Buddhahood, should my life be limited, not illuminating hundreds of thousands of millions of layers of Buddha lands? May I not attain perfect enlightenment? If I attain Buddhahood, should my lifespan be limited to the extent of hundreds of thousands of millions of nayotas of karpas? May I not attain perfect enlightenment? If I attain Buddhahood, should the number of shivakas in my land be able to be calculated, even if all the beings in the trichiliocosm have all become prachika buddhas, count them together during hundreds of thousands of karpas? And be able to know the number. May I not attain perfect enlightenment? If I attain Buddhahood, heavenly beings and humans in my land will have immeasurable lifespans, except for their original vows that they can shorten at will. If this cannot be realized, may I not attain perfect enlightenment? If I attain Buddhahood, heavenly beings and humans in my land. Should I even hear of any wrongdoings, may I not attain perfect enlightenment? If I attain Buddhahood, innumerable Buddhas in the ten directions, should I not all praise my name? May I not attain perfect enlightenment? If I attain Buddhahood, sentient beings in the ten directions who sincerely believe and joyfully wish to be born in my land. Reciting my name for even ten times, should I not be born there? May I not attain perfect enlightenment? Except for those who commit the five great offenses and slander the right dharma, if I attain Buddhahood, sentient beings in the ten directions who generate bodhicitta, cultivate various merits, and sincerely vow to be born in my land at the time of their death. Should they not see me and other beings appear before them, may I not attain perfect enlightenment? If I attain Buddhahood, sentient beings in the ten directions, upon hearing my name, continuously being mindful of my land, planting roots of virtue, and sincerely transferring their merits towards seeking rebirth in my land, should their wish not be fulfilled? May I not attain perfect enlightenment?